No one knows for sure, but it is most likely that the aloe vera was used in prehistoric times. More than likely, if you consider that the Paleolithic man based his survival on taking products from nature. In any case, the first reliable evidence on the use of aloe vera can be traced back to 3000 BC in Egypt. There were pictorial representations that decorate tombs and funerary monuments, which represents the aloe plant. The oldest epigraphic news that remains on its medicinal use can be found on clay tablets of summer, written about 2100 BC, and in which the laxative effect of the plant is described. Egyptians, Hindus, Romans, Arabs and Chinese prepared different remedies able to handle almost all types of ailments with aloe. The Hindus even called it the silent healer, since they believed that it grew in the gardens of Eden. Traditional doctors in ancient China called it the harmonic remedy, and they had already sensed it was one of the plants with more therapeutic properties. Hippocrates, Dioscorides, Galliano, among many other illustrious characters, refer to aloe numerous times in his medical works responding to many an illness. During the Middle Ages, under Muslim rule, there were large plantations of aloes in Al-Andalus. They were responsible for the spread of aloe in Europe and in Spain, where it was also imposed as an ornamental plant. Although until the late 15th and early 16th centuries, botany was not developed as a science, the cultivation of medicinal plants has already been documented in the 13th century. Although there is no doubt that there were aloe plants in America, the Spanish Jesuits, after the conquest of America, were the ones who spread the knowledge of it to different parts of continent, where their missions were located. Aloe almost fell out of use in the Renaissance, and its therapeutic value was rediscovered again during the Second World War. Although aloe vera was becoming popular little by little, it was not until the 70s that its use was generalised creating an industry associated with this miraculous plant. 